Welcome to the Cycling Celebration Channel, where we feature videos that highlight the cycling lifestyle. I'm James Few back with another video for cycling enthusiasts of all ages. There's a story behind every video and this one is going to be about the big lie. The story that was made up saying there was widespread voter fraud. I wanted to see firsthand what all the commotion was about. So I rode my Trek Power Fly E bike downtown to the TCF center where I found a barricade blocking the street. No vehicles were allowed to enter but I had no problem getting through on my bike. November 6, 2020. This is one in a series of fact checks the Detroit Free Press is doing on public issues in conjunction with Polity Fact, a non-profit national news organization. Suggest a fact check here. Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson talks about Michigan election. Mandy Wright, Detroit Free Press. A viral tweet claims that thousands of dead Wayne County voters cast ballots in this election. Here is a list of 14 plus thousand dead people who voted in Wayne County, Detroit, the tweet says, linking to a list that provides the first and last names of just over 14,500 individuals and their birth year. This tweet marks the latest in a long line of false claims that individuals fraudulently cast mail-in ballots on behalf of dead voters. All of the voters listed are over the age of 100, but they're not all Wayne County residents, and at least several of the voters named on the list are not marked in the state's voter information center as ever having received or cast an absentee ballot.